What is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are in BeamNG Drive on a seemingly impossible uh, stunt track. Now, it's got a list of, obviously, like, when you load into the map, it's got a list of cars that have been confirmed uh, to beat this map, but I decided not to use any of them, um, because that's just kind of what we do. So, I don't really care about beating the map. I want to see if I can get some really unassuming vehicles to even get somewhat of a even slightly considerable considerable distance so we've got the dsc uh kiwi right here and this thing is this thing is hilarious first of all and um it's a little bit hard to control that's why i've decided to use it for this um because it oh the suspension loads up when you're going up the hill it compresses like crazy and if we can just get eh, not bad oh maybe oh maybe very bad we've lost it yeah we've lost it can we recover it? I mean, we can make it break dance a little bit, but that's about it. We may have to respawn. I probably won't stick with the same vehicle throughout the whole video because that would... That might get a bit boring, but... I may try it with a bunch of different vehicles in this video, and then we'll come back for another episode at this specific map. Because this is just idiotic, to be honest, at this point. We need to break! Break! The brakes are bad. And then you... <laughs> then you lose it, and then... Oh, and then you get it back. And how about we just kind of go slow through this section and not concern ourselves? Never mind. This is a very difficult vehicle to drive. Especially when you actually get on the gas at all. Um, it just becomes nearly undrivable in a straight line anyway. Or around corners, and it does that, and then you, you plummet. You plummet to your doom. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, we lost something. There's a door. That was bad. That was quite bad. Let's see if we can find anything else that might... Zack Speed Capri might work. I don't remember what this thing is like. Oh, damn. Okay. This looks good. This looks like it might be slightly quick. Oh, uh... oh it's quick. I want to change the camera angle, though. I'm not too happy with this camera angle, but it is quick. Breaking. There, that's the camera angle I wanted. It likes to go sideways, and you have to manage it, otherwise it'll be, um, let's just say, it'll bite you in the ass if you're not careful. Come on. Try not to get a lot of air on this downhill, at least the top of the downhill. You get a ton of momentum from it anyway. First loop, here we go. Come on. No, 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 no. You're not gonna go off the side this time. Come on. No! Yeah, the camera was weird. I wonder, am I gonna land on the beach or in the- Nope, nope, I'm gonna miss the beach by a little bit. What? What just happened? I can't, honestly, I can't deduce that to be any more than some ridiculous witchcraft magic of some sort. I'm respawning. You're kidding me, I can't respawn? No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. I can't reset. I can't. And the game audio just stopped. I'll be back with you guys in a minute, how about that? Alright guys, so we're back, and thankfully I did not permanently break the map. Um, I broke it a little bit, but I think we fixed it. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a different vehicle, obviously, because this... Well, you know what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This might actually work. Hold on. Um... V8, four-wheel drive, stripped. We'll give this a shot. It's got decent power, and it'll be pretty controllable, or it should be at least. It's definitely a bit more controllable than the, uh, than the other version of it, the mid-engine version. The mid-engine version was all over the place. Let's see how the brakes are. I locked them up, but they're okay otherwise. Oh god. Okay, well, the roof is a bit ruined, but it's alright otherwise. Please don't die. Appreciate that. As we- whoa, as we get a bit of frame rate lag. Turning, turning into the understeer. 
Yeah, I just wanted to understeer. And you know what? Due to what happened last time, we're not gonna let it, like, plummet all the way to the water or, like, the sand or whatever it decides to land on. So, I think we're better off just not doing that at all. Just as the second we go off, just respawn. It's gonna turn out a lot better in the long run. Oh, oh, what? That was a decent drift, too. Again, it's only damage to the actual body, so not really any performance damage here. Ooh, God. Okay. I, was, I got a bit of understeer, but we managed to keep it intact. Come on. Come on. I can't see anything. Oh, what? You know what we're going to have to do? Respawn before, okay, respawn before it goes in the water. We're gonna have to try it in first person, because that's the only way I'll be able to see what the loop is actually doing. Like, what we're actually doing while we're heading through the loop. Wow, it's losing power as we're going up the hill dramatically. Turning, and it's not turning. The first person is weird. We fit under the tree without damaging anything? I think we did. I didn't feel the hood get like smashed or anything. Alright, now. Now the part where we where we say please don't die again. Yet again. Aim for the inside of the corner. Now, hopefully we'll be able to use this camera angle to our advantage. Come on! Oh yes! We'll keep it in hood cam for a bit. We'll try. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Right there. We were going slow, too. We'd slowed down quite a bit. Although, hood cam seems to be really, uh... Hood cam seems to be a nice practical camera angle. Like, there's no way you're gonna... Well, there's no way you're gonna screw up in hood cam unless, like, it's something you did, you know? See if we can, we'll keep it to the, whoa, keep it to the outside. Try not to damage it on that low hanging palm tree. Starting to get to grips a bit more with the handling. And break, 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 break. Aim for the inside. Now the loop will be simple this time. Or should be. There you go, come on then. And power out. Okay, no problem at all. And we'll start braking before you see your last, your last tire marks. Nope, okay. We're gonna need way more time to brake for that because this thing has horrible brakes, I've, I'm finding out. I think I should have figured that though already, that this thing would have terrible brakes anyway. I mean, it's a pickup truck. I shouldn't expect it to have six piston Brembos up front. But, honestly, I kind of figured, figured that the braking performance would at least be a little bit better than what I found it to be originally. And for the inside of the corner and power it out. Try to carry a bit of speed. Into the loop. Staying with it. Oh, I lost it a little bit. The truck started to get really bouncy for some reason. Breaking even before those tire marks start. That was way too early as far as getting on the brakes, but honestly, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that every time now. Because I do not want to fly off the track right there. This hill is ridiculous. The track also narrows by quite a bit. It narrows to like one lane. This is a tricky part. I'm gonna go to this side. I don't know, I just kind of picked one side at random. Wow, okay, we're making it. Breaking again. You gotta anticipate that these corners are gonna be a lot tighter than they look. And they usually are. I see the start-finish line over there, but I think we're still quite a ways away from actually finishing it. Got another, okay. We've got a loop with a jump in it. Now, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I'm just going full throttle right now. So... This may go really well, this may go terribly. Oh my god! Oh, we were there! We were right there! We were right there! 
Almost. I think maybe a tiny bit more speed. Or maybe a tiny bit less speed. I'm not sure. I'll try it again. We're, we're, we're close. I know we're close to getting it, though. Nope. 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 Thing whipped. It's weird. I had this weird whip motion and it threw me towards the wall. Come on, then. A little bit of power down the hill. Break a bit. Staying to the inside of powering out. Alright, now for the simple loop with no jump in it. Again, we're gonna break really early. Shouldn't have locked him up as much as I did, but either way, we'll still stick with it. Come on, heading up the hill, come on. Oh, road narrows tremendously. Keep it together and then head down the hill. Oh, God. No, don't slide up the- <gasps> Oh, that was ridiculously close. Drifted a little bit. Alright, now I'm not sure whether I want to go a tiny bit faster or a tiny bit slower. I think I'm going to let off the gas just a little bit sooner this time. Yes, 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 yes! We made it! I don't know how much damage we got from that. The truck looks a little bit twisted, but... And the steering is kind of slightly pulling to one side. But we're alright otherwise... And we're in the grass. And we're not going to be able to get back up. Yeah, no. Let me switch camera angles. Oh, yeah. Great. There's no way we're getting back up there. Is there? I need to check to see because... <laughs> Because I really want to see if there's any way we can get back up there without having to sacrifice our run and go back and do it again. Yeah, our run is toast. This sucks. Our run is completely toast now. Hood cam. Hood cam we found to be by far the most effective. At least we're getting very familiar with the rest of the track at this point. The rest of the track is kind of a breeze, to be honest, now. Wow, drifted all the way around. And not... yeah, no. <laughs> it was good for that first corner. First attempt of the first corner. And for anybody that's saying that this map is like, you know, oh, this is extremely easy, you're terrible at BeamNG Drive. First, well, a couple of things. First thing is, first thing is, the physics in BeamNG Drive are very odd. They are not your typical simulation physics. And number two, if you think this map is extremely easy and you could like beat it on your first try, go ahead and try it. Just, just, just try it. It's, it's a bit more ridiculous than, yeah, there we go. Yeah, no. We have to break a little bit earlier, but it's a little bit more ridiculous than it might look on video. When you're actually- what I'm getting at is when you're actually playing it, it, it seems a lot harder than it might look on video. It's nice though that this truck's all-wheel drive has a rear bias to it, because you can kind of whip the tail end around, but still have that little bit of front-end pull to kind of gather it back up. Slowly down the hill. And I'm gonna wait until I get around this corner and then now it's now it's floored. It's completely floored. Into the loop at what, like 85? Oh no, 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 no. Stop. Stop. That was an incredible save. <laughs> Wow, that run was so close to being completely ruined. Like, 100% ruined. Thing is, if you cut that corner too tight in a pickup, you're gonna catch the... You're gonna catch the roof on that tree. And that can either throw you off the track, or just completely screw up the truck. One or the other. 
that spot is always so tense for me because you don't know if you're going to go up. Well, I mean, you know if you're going to go off the side or not, but there's a very little, um, there's a very small margin for error. Almost no margin for error, really. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Not as much speed as I usually have co coming into it, but I think if I go a little bit faster than I did last time, but not quite as fast as I did originally, we should be good. And letting off. Yes, 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 maybe. Oh, he made it. The steering doesn't seem to work anymore, though. Oh, the gearbox doesn't work either. Oh no. Oh no. I think we've lost our, our like entire gearbox linkage. Yeah, we, we, we've lost everything. But you know what? Since we've pretty much conquered that first part, I am going to respawn right here. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I'm going to respawn right there. And just try and finish it. Because to be honest, we did that first part so many times that we kind of have it mastered except for the, um, the loop with the jump in it. I don't know what's going to be at the crest of this hill. Another downhill, okay. That actually, oh, yep, yeah, nope, completely. Uh, save it. Nope, too late, too late. I think the gist of what we're learning here is that if we see a hill, to slow down instead of speeding up for it. Because in BMNG Drive, your vehicle will get destroyed. Unlike other games where it's like, you know, rewarding you is like, great jump. No, nah, not in BMNG Drive. They'll punish you. Where are we going now? Just seems... Oh, okay. We're circling back. I don't know if I'm going to get this one on the first try. It'll be interesting getting the, uh, the speed for this right. Oh, it's starting to... Yeah, it really pitched to the side. No way! It recovered it. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. One lap. Don't you dare! Not... <laughs> no! Right before the finish. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> I want to try and finish this. I know we're so close. We have that one jump to finish. And we'll literally be like right there. Oh, save it, save it. Yes, yeah, save it with a little bit of an all-wheel drift. All right, now, power toward the jump. Uh, it's not pitching as much as it did last time. Oh, clean, clean. Now just keep it straight. Break, and kick the rear end around. And across the line. <laughs> that was awesome. I loved that. That was, like, the most fun I've had so far in BeamNG Drive. That, that, I loved it. That was awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. And I'll definitely be trying different vehicles on this map in the future. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.